video on my channel by Dr. Palerify and today we're going to fly the Tulis, a uh, Airbus uh, 321 from Los Angeles to Las Vegas uh, with live ATC on Pilot Edge. We're going to try to follow real world procedures as much as possible. I am not type rated an Airbus uh, a 320 or 321 uh, the NEO. However, I did my multi-crew training and uh, jet orientation training in an Airbus sim. Uh, following the uh, procedures by Wizz Air, which is uh, a low-budget uh, airliner in Europe. Um, it has about, I think, over 30 bases, and its headquarters is in actually in Hungary. Um, and today I'm flying that airliner uh, in the U.S. Uh, they actually did fly in the U.S. Uh, uh, for uh, repatriation flights bringing back Hungarian citizens back to Hungary uh, when COVID hit. A and uh, we are going to simulate one of those uh, repatriation flights. All right, great. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, before we do anything, obviously, we have to plan the flight. We're going to have to OFP. And the OFP is generated by SimBrief uh, between, uh, uh, as you can see here, for Wizz Air 494. Uh, between uh, Los Angeles and uh, Las Vegas and we have a route here go ahead plugins and we put the tool list the fuel and the payload all right so the zero fuel weight estimated is about 153,000 pounds so you want to try to somehow make the zero fuel weight here about 153,000 pounds now we use this Oh, close enough. And for the block fuel, it looks like here block fuel is about 14.2. That's about 14,300 pounds. Okay, 14.2 is uh, close enough. That's good. So that's the loading for the aircraft. So we make sure we load the aircraft accordingly, and it does uh, look okay when it comes to the CG position for uh, you know even for landing. So we we'll look we we'll look fine here. All right, so we're going to come back to this again uh, after, obviously, we select the runway for departure. Uh, and that's how you, you're going to be able to compute or cal calculate the uh, performance. But the loading now matches SimBrief. We look now at the flight plan, and we need to file a flight plan on Pilot Edge. We'll do, jet, we'll do that just right now. And uh, the flight plan is here. Okay, uh, the runway doesn't necessarily have to be the same uh, depending on the ATIS which we're going to listen to. But let's go ahead now and file the flight plan on Pilot Edge. Okay, here we go. And with that, we have the ORCA 5 Meissen transition and the Rounders 1 arrival into uh, uh, Las Vegas. And our alternate is actually Ontario. Okay, so IFR, and we're gonna put Wiz 494, uh, A321, and Wiz 494, okay, uh, L, and the, the speed should be around 430, TAS, and we take off from KLX, and K Las Vegas, and we said we're gonna be flying at, uh, right here, Flight level 290, so 29,000 feet. Here we go, and the alternate is Ontario. And the route is the Orca 5 Meissen and the Rounders 1 arrival. Very good. And with that, we have a flight plan. Uh, we can receive our clearance uh, via CPDLC uh, or we can call in and get the clearance. I think we should call in and get the clearance. It'll be more fun. Okay, I'll go ahead now file the flight plan. Flight plan is filed successfully. We log in to Pilot Edge. Connected to Pilot Edge. Okay, looks like we're connected to Pilot Edge. And now time to get in the cockpit and do our thing. And with that, here we go. 
Here's the overhead panel. Gun power unit. Batteries on. IRS. Let's not worry about the crew supply right now, and the light should be a smiley face on the top. Everything on the bottom is off. Seat belts on. Auto. And arm the emergency exit lights. Okay, I'm not going to start the APU right now uh, until we're about to do the pushback and the engine start. But with that, we should now move on to. Uh, make the displays brighter. On both sides. Okay. Cam panel. Two. This is also bright. And with the pedestal, we need to turn the comms on. And make them brighter too. Perfect. Alright, so uh, let's set up some frequencies first. Or VHF2. And uh, we'll look up now the frequency for the ATIS and clearance delivery. I'll brief in just a sec. Okay, so the ATIS for departure is 135.65. Okay, should have gone the other way, it's faster. Here you go, 135. Advise on initial contact, you have information, Lima. Probably Lima. Los Angeles International Airport. ATIS information, Lima. 1653 Zulu. Wind 360 at 8. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 10,000. Few clouds at 18,000. 25,000 scattered. Temperature 23. Dew point minus 8. Altimeter 3009. -er. Arriving runways 24 right, 25 left. Departing runways 24 left, 25 right. ILS runway 24 right and 25 left approach and use or vector for visual approach will be provided. Simultaneous dual approach okay. to all runways and are in progress. Delivery. Simultaneous instrument departures in progress. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, is and if flight following is requested, read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Lima. 20.35. Los Angeles International Airport. ATIS information, Lima. 1653 Zulu. Wind 360 at 8. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 10,000. Few clouds at 18,000. 25,000 scattered. Temperature 23. Dew point. 120.35 is Los Angeles delivery. And we're going to call in now to get our clearance. Okay, so KL Las Vegas. We have Lima. And we filed the. Uh, Orca 5 mice in transition and let's call in right now. I think we have the Orca. Mice in just in case. Now we'll call. Los Angeles uh, delivery, good morning. Wiz Air 494 instruments to Las Vegas with Lima. Wizard 494 Los Angeles clearance, clear to Las Vegas Airport Orca 5 departure, mice and transition that is filed. Claudia Civic said maintain 5,000. So call departure 125.2, squawk 7150. We're to Las Vegas uh, Orca 5 departure, mice and transition then as filed. Claudia said except maintain 5,000, departure fix 125.2, squawk 7150 with Air 494. 
Was there a 494 readback is correct? It came out a bit broken there towards the end, but it should be okay, hopefully. Hopefully, okay, thanks. All right. So it looks like we have our clearance. So now we can program the FMS. Okay, so in the ATIS, we do have runway um, 25 right. That's the closest one to us, according to where we are in the map. And uh, we are uh, right now at the Charlie uh, 10 gates. So yeah, we are closest to 25 right. So hopefully you will get that. Okay, so let's go ahead now and work on our on the FMS. All right, so we're good here. This uh, data cycle is correct, and we have uh, WIS 494. Number nine, Sierra Charlie, contact LA Center one three four point six five. X 134.65 Las Vegas uh, The cost index usually for Wiz Air is 15 and our clearance was uh, well actually our filed altitude was uh, flight level uh, 290 Charlie, Los Angeles, Center, Henderson, altimeter 3034. Good. And we're going to get the zero fuel weight and the zero fuel weight CG from the... Um, okay, so our zero fuel weight is 150... No, 153. Close enough. 153. And 27.4. That's it, and block fuel is 14.2. So we put that in. Looking good. All right, so we'll uh, go KLAX and departure. I believe we're gonna be departing from two, five, right. That's the closest one to us. The Orca. Five departure. Here's the Orca five departure with the Mycin transition. And that's it. Put that in. And for the arrival, we have the rounders one. I'll pick a I'll pick a runway right now just to see what we have uh Maybe one nine left. Where is one nine left? Uh, okay, because yeah, one nine left Zulu. Just for now, and the star is round as one, and we'll update this as we get closer. If it's a different round as one, okay, fine for the approach. But the mice and transition is the key. Here we go, and we'll change that later if we have to. All right, so that looks like we have the departure here. Now, according to the clearance, let's continue. Our squawk, we'll brief the departure in just a second, but our squawk is 7150. So we would have put 7150, 7150. And here you go. We can turn the transponder on when you do the pushback. Uh, altitude reporting. All right, so that's good. And he said climb via SID except maintain 5,000. All right, so in that case, I have to come here and I have to put 5,000. Okay, we're gonna climb and it's managed, so it's gonna climb via the SID. Our Q&H from the ATIS was 3009, so let's say that, altimeter 3009, 
That looks right. Check the departure. Okay. All right, so go to plates, import. Here you go, there, here's the flight. And the departure is Oracle 5. Let's see what the F, uh, FMS, uh, FMC says. All right, 25 right. I'm sorry, two, yeah, 25 right. This is the one. Uh, 640 feet. Then we turn to Docker. Okay. 2490. Then I'm hitting 236. And then after that, it's victoring, I believe, to kegs. To clipper, I'm sorry. Yep. And minimum 10,000. And then kegs. Okay, good. So we have the restriction here. And we have to be below 3,000. Then when we continue on hitting 236, right here, we're going to climb to 5,000 and wait for further altitudes from... Um, from uh, departure. Um, Good morning. Performance uh, one. Papa Delta Sierra. Uh, if you could pull the microphone Active. away from your mouth just a little bit, it's picking up way too much uh, voice. Uh, on departure, fly heading 285. There Maintain you go. VFR below 3000 until advised. And 148. So Cal departure 135.4. Squawk 05. B2 at 151 from that performance. And uh, can you check if it's better like this? Uh, so um, after departure, next to 44. Uh, 285 uh, at uh, or below to 3000. Uh, frequency 135.4. Five plan is checked. Charles here, Papa Delta Sierra. Charles here, Papa Delta Sierra. Readback is correct. And yes, primary. Now you can move the microphone back. Right, Just, again, about another inch away from your mouth. That'd be there great. Go and looks like the frequencies are auto. And out. Fuel is good. Well, that short one, I can't really tell you. Board 9.3. <laughs> can you hear me now? 2.5, <laughs> an extra time. Wow. Yeah, it's still picking up voice pops, but uh, we can deal one with it. One hour, 19 minutes. Okay, many thanks. Secondary flight plan. Um, okay. And it. From K, and we put Los Angeles to Los Angeles in, need, in case we need to come back after departure. So K L A uh, X. Okay. Okay. And here we put ILS two five left the ATIS and we get vectors and no star insert and no via just vectors insert that's it and go to our flat plan so good okay so we have everything in case we have something wrong all right now we set the comp frequencies now let's go ahead so the FMS looks okay so it's setting the comp frequencies all right so come to i'm gonna put now ground and the ATIS just before we taxi again just to make sure so the ATIS is we already have it in one three five six five that's no problem and i need to put ground and ground for the south complex so one two one seven five and now the emergency briefing uh, with the commander one which is the captain on the left is the pilot flying like in this case so I'll say, in case of serious malfunctions, before V1 I will call stop. If I call stop, my items are thrust levers idle, uh, max reverse, max braking. When we come to complete stop, I apply park and brake and announce attention crew at stations two times. Then I will call ECAM actions or paper checklist. Your items are, and then the first officer is going to respond, say, I monitor and call reverse green or no reverse green, decel below 70 knots, and before aircraft comes to full stop, I inform ETC. Where's Air 494 stopping after parking, you know, after park brake set, 
The chemical advised by you, I perform ECAM actions or paper checklist on your request. Then the commander will reply, in case of go or any malfunction at or after V1, nothing will be done below 400 feet except silence the warning and gear up at positive climb. At 400 feet and aircraft is under my control, I will call I have control, I have communication. Confirm failure, ECAM actions, engine out routing is... I'm gonna climb uh, uh, straight ahead and uh, request victory from ETC at acceleration altitude and engine secured, whichever is later. Stop ECAM, push to level off, clean up the aircraft on schedule. Once the aircraft is clean, reach and greet dot speed, altitude pull, thrust, maximum continuous thrust, and we climb to, uh, to the uh, MSA. Well, over sea level, the MSA, we're gonna climb to 2,000 feet. And that's it. And now the cockpit preparation checklist, cockpit prep completed, signs on and auto, fuel quantity 14,200, 300 pounds, bar ref is set, and takeoff data, runway 25 right set. Los Angeles International Airport, ATIS information mic, 1753 Zulu, wind 020 at Niner, visibility 10, few clouds at 14,000, few clouds at 18,000. 25,000 scattered. Temperature 26. Dew point minus 8. Altimeter 300 er Arriving runways 24 right, 25 left. Departing runways 24 left, 25 right. ILS runway 24 right and 25 left approach in use or vector for visual approach will be provided. Okay, 1.75 1 1 we're good. So it's still 3009. Let's just double check that. That's the most important thing. Yeah, we're good. Okay, here we go. And we're good there. And, um, just to uh, continue the frequencies, so we have tower for 25 right. Los Angeles Tower South Complex is 120.905, so that would be VHF 1, 120.905. and he gave me departure frequency on the clearance was 125.2. So one two five point two Good now. So one two five point two and we have tower and we go to VHF two now and we're transmitting a VHF two. We have ground and we have the ADS again in case when we need to uh to the part. All right, we, I think now we're ready for engine start and pushback, so let's get ready for the engine start. So overhead panel now, so we need to now start the APU. And let's plan the pushback. Plugins, better pushback. And uh, since we're going to be talking to the ground crew, so uh, we put this one on intercom. Here you go. Intercom. Berniner Sierra Charlie via far trap. I got about two o'clock and three miles southeast down altitude indicates nine thousand five hundred type and on altitude isn't verified. Okay. Logins better push back and pre plan. Okay, so this is, I believe, a non-movement area. We'll push back. Santa Maria Ground, Skyhawk 172 Papa Alpha is at the FBO requesting taxi for Ground to cockpit, plan Zulu. acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. Okay, we're not ready yet. So now, deplete. 172 Bop Alpha, Beacon. Center Rear Ground, runway 30, taxi via Alpha. Fuel pumps. Runway 30, taxi via Alpha, 172 Bop Alpha. lights. And we come now to the... here, and we start now turning this clock on. Number 9 zero, Charlie, the traffic pass behind you, no factor. There you go, transponder is on. And we're ready for pushback and engine start. Okay, let's call it now. Okay. 
Background to cockpit. Tow is driving up. Okay. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. And we don't need the extent anymore. Toe connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Okay. Parking brake released. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. A start checklist, windows closed, doors closed, thrust levers idle. Parking brake is released for pushback, transponder is set, beacon is on, and nose wheel steering is connected. Start checklist completed. Okay, let's go ahead now, starting engine one. And we checked, of course, the throttles in the idle position. Okay, looks like it's a good start. All this ground traffic is crazy. And I explain. I'll still the generator. It's not on. Santa Maria Tower, 172 Pop okay, Alpha, good. holding short, runway 30, ready Action for takeoff. Runner Sierra Charlie, radar contact lost. Number 172 Papa Alpha, Santa Maria Tower. Operation complete. Go North ahead and set the parking brake. You said northeastbound uh, right turn okay, up. Runway 30, cleared for takeoff. Disconnecting tow, stand by. Clear for takeoff, runway 30. Uh, left turnout uh, approved, 172 Pop Alpha. Okay, waiting for the generator 2 to kick in. Okay, disconnect signal. We're good. So I'll come back here and turn the intercom off. Good, we don't need that anymore. I'm not talking to the ground crew. Overhead panel. Looks like it kicked in ready, so turn the bleed off. EPU off, and here we put the runway turn off lights on. Taxi lights on. is disconnected, and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time, off. and have fun up there. Alright, so let's continue. I'm not done. This goes off. This is the hint now. We arm. Santa Barbara approach. That's not eight for and Lima Lima radio check, please. And right for me, the, uh, auto brake. And it looks like we're good now. And the transponder, I believe, is on. And we're ready now to call every taxi. And now the uh, after start uh, checklist. Uh, anti ice off. F flaps uh, one set, trims are set 27.4 and ECAM status uh, checked after start checklist completed. Los Angeles ground uh, was air 494 over at the Charlie 10 gate straight to taxi with Mike. Was there 494 lost ground runway 25 right taxi via Charlie, Charlie 5 and Bravo. On we 25 right via Charlie, Charlie 5 and Bravo was Air 494. Okay, let's put this real quick. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie 5 and Bravo. Okay, that's it. Release the brakes now. And we're ready to go.
Bad News runway 25 right like we expected. Pair the ATIS and it's the closest one to us. Charlie, you gotta be careful. He's gonna have to turn right on Charlie 5 and continue on Bravo. Charlie 5 should be the next right. Let's check out the sign coming up on the left. Yup, here's Charlie 5. I can see the sign on the left. Okay, slow down a little. Share Charlie on the center center right down. Bird under Sierra Charlie radar contact thirty miles northwest of the Goss VRC and altitude. Bird under Sierra Charlie altimeter three zero three four. This is the Orbix scenery for Southern California in X Plane. Okay, well, while you taxiing, you're supposed to the first officer and the captain obviously uh, check the flight controls and. Uh, when we get to the holding point, we're gonna turn uh, the weather radar, the TCAS, and get everything ready. We check the takeoff config. Charlie, Sierra, Papa, Delta, Sierra, the north parking at the terminal? Affirmative. Okay, stop here. Charlie, Sierra, Papa, Delta, Sierra, Ontario ground, runway 26 right, taxi yeah. via Sierra, whiskey. Okay, oh. You said north side. All lights so on. Six right taxi via November whiskey. Uh, runway two six right uh, via November whiskey. Chasse Papa Delta. And over here panel. Pedestal. Now we're gonna switch to mic one, VHF one. And Chasse, Papa Delta, correction, actually uh, should be Sierra Whiskey. And so uh, I think it's North. DA, Charlie, Sierra, Papa Delta, Sierra, cancel your taxi instruction, verify your Above. position. Okay, and uh, takeoff config is all green, and the train on the display. And already now called Tower, we should be with Tower right now. If you look, we're in tower right now. One, November 172, Papa Alpha, Santa Barbara approach, squawk 0321. Okay, well, uh, taxi checklist, uh, flight controls checked, briefings confirmed, and ECOM memo, takeoff all green. And uh, takeoff checklist, uh, cabin secured, the radar is on, TCAS is uh, TARA, and uh, negative uh, takeoff clearance. We're going to call it now, takeoff checklist completed. Los Angeles uh, Tower was there, 494, holding short, 25 right. 494, LA Tower, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff, wind 020 at minor. 25 right, clear for takeoff, was there, 494. Okay. Put 
check your clear. Zero one seven two Papa Alpha with Los Angeles Center radar contact, fifteen miles southwest of the fellow with ZR. Verify again your altitude. Approaching runway two five right. Entered runway two five right. Three thousand nine hundred one meters remaining. Okay, call the cabin. Take off. Charlie Sierra Papa Delta Sierra Ontario ground runway two six left. Taxi via Sierra Whiskey. Two six left uh, via Sierra Whiskey. Joseph Papa Sierra. Okay, take off. Push the the joystick down until ninety knots. Speed alive, very good. Eighty check, and then ninety for let the stick come up again. P one, rotate. Okay, up to. 15 degrees, take your time. Okay, other rate. Gear up. Autopilot on. Yeah, when the gear is up, not that we leave the spoilers actually, but now the lights. Okay, off. Run, we turn lights off. Over climb. With Air 494, take still call departure. Contact South Call departure with Air 494, we'll see you. Okay, departure, so switch the frequency. 5.2. South Cal departure, good morning, it was Air 494, 2600, climbing VX, Sip and 10, 5000. Was Air 494, South Cal departure, radar contact, climb and maintain, 1, 3000. Climb and maintain, 1, 3000, was Air 494. Okay, flaps up. Okay, so we don't want to forget the 1, 3000, so we put the 1, 3000. And we now disarm. We should be on the heading now. Four turn left heading drove actors clipper. I'll uh, say heading again. Uh, was there 494? Was there 494 left heading 080? Left heading 080. Was there 494? Okay, so we pull heading 080. Alright, we just pulled the heading. This should be open climb. One seven two pop alpha LA center are you up? One 
solid 7-2 pop alpha is uh, is up. All right, you're on the wrong frequency. What was your last assigned frequency? 135.50. You're on 2415, sir. My apologies, I'll correct it. Wizard 494, when able to proceed direct clipper, join the Orca 5 departure and climb via SID. When able to direct uh, clipper, join Orca, uh, Orca 5 departure and climb via SID, uh, Wizard 494. Okay, so we have to check the chart again. I said direct clipper, direct clipper. Okay, so now we're flying direct clipper. And you said climb via SID. So with the SID, the SID, the top altitude is flight level 230. So you have to put now flight level 230, and we'll make it managed to, uh, yeah, here you go. It's managed climb, so we can listen to or follow all the uh, constraints. Was there a 494 contact LA Center 125.27? 25.27, uh, was there a 494? We'll see ya. Uh, this is 172 Pop Alpha. I'm going to need to disconnect. Uh, every time I change frequencies, it flips right back. Uh, must one be something two, to do with the update one two with the MSF five, uh, uh, 220, point so, uh, 220, seven. so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. Roger. Right ground Skyhawk 7880 Gulf. Not going to be far to the west, pulling short of 6 left. Here you go, 1 to 5.27. Remember 7880 Gulf bracket ground. You taxi to, to taxi or to runway 26 left on Sierra. Is that correct? I want to double check your position because you're at the intersection of Sierra and Alpha, short of runway 26 left. Pilot edge user agreement just requires that you start in a non movement area unless it's been pre coordinated with ATC. From there, I can't even provide any instructions. This contact tower. Uh, Los Angeles Center, good morning. Was Air 494 14,400 climbing via? Was Air 494 LA Center running? Oh, over 10,000. Let's not forget that. I always forget this. <laughs> All right, retract the landing lights and see build sign off. Here we go. We're about to pass the transition altitude, which is 1 8,000 in the US, 18,000 feet. We'll do that, we're going to change the standard altimeter. Was there 494 contact LA Center 133.2? 33.2 was there 494, we'll see ya. Charlie Sierra Pop, Del Sierra, Ontario Tower, only 26 left, click for takeoff, wind Let's calm. Let's change now to standard 133.2. Okay, that's easy, 33.2. We told past the flight level so I can report it cor correctly. <laughs> Climbing through transition altitude. Very good. There we go. Central Center, uh, good morning. Was Air 494, flight level 181, climbing via. Was Air 494, Los Angeles Center, good morning. Climb maintain flight level 290. Climb maintain flight level 290, was Air 494. Okay, two nine or zero. That's it. And we're good. Over big scenery, beautiful. Okay, and of course the RVSM check should be done before entering RVSM airspace between the captain and uh, the first officer. Checking the altitudes. When we get to flight level 290. But we're not gonna, 
Well, technically, yes, 2900 should be checked because it's from 2900 to 410. Charlie Sierra, Papa Delta Sierra, contact, so call departure. Even the Los Angeles Basin to uh, Nevada. The Las Vegas ADAS is 132.4. So 132.1 VHF2. 132.4. The reason why the frames are, well, in the 20s to 30 is because I'm actually using three monitors. Uh, you can only see the middle monitor, but I have a right and left monitor with views adjusted so I can look on my right, I can see to the right when the all continuous, uh, which is one of the advantages that x has right now over Microsoft Flight Simulator until uh, MSFS uh, introduces multiple monitors uh, support. Uh, I think with three monitors and running this, it's actually good FPS in my opinion with such a complex aircraft. I mean, everything is smooth for me. I'm not worried about anything. And Orbix scenery. And there will be a very nice uh, Las Vegas scenery as we arrive, uh, as you'll see. All right, approaching flight level 290. In that case, I will now switch the TCAS to above and below. Altitude capture, mock. Alt star. Alt cruise. Okay, we're now inbound Navy and then Mycin. And then arrival after Mycin, we have uh, Teddy. Yeah, things are looking good. So they, we need to figure out which arm we were landing on before uh, reaching uh, Rounders Waypoint because that's when it branches off and we'll have to figure out. Here we go, here's the arrival as you can see. Once we get to Rounders, that's when we have, uh, see, it, it branches off from Rounders based on the runway and we have to figure out which runway by then. And we should be told to descend via the Rounders 1 and which one we take expect. Okay, now new controller. 3025, that's here, Charlie. Uh, 3027. 3027, that's here, Charlie. Mission, clear. Temperature 16. Dew point minus 10. Altimeter 3029. Okay, looks like we can grab the airs now. So I'm gonna get ready. With Air 490, send via the Rounders 1 arrival, runway 26 left. We'll send via the Rounders 1 arrival for 26 left with Air 494, thanks. Okay. Charles, South Delta Sierra, contact SoCal approach 134. So, we need to change this now in the FMS. Arrival. Change the runway. Nope, we're going to have to change. ILS 26 left. And I'm going to pick ILS 26 left from. Still got time before rounders. We're good. We're good. RLS two six left procedure. Coach RLS two six left. Now we'll take the RLS two six left from Bourbon. Okay, from Bourbon. Where's hold on. Oh, the arrival is here, round is one. So if you have bourbon, mycin. Charlie Sierra, Papa Delta Sierra, so caliper event called Timeter 3010. And if we look at it right now, and we'll see that the lowest altitude in the arrival, so plates, look, if you look at the 26 left transition, which is right here. Uh, the 26 left transition, the lowest altitude is 8,000. So I'll put 8,000 here. And I'll make it managed. Here you go. Now the aircraft is going to descend and follow all the constraints 
along the arrival lane. Um, okay, Randers, then Grandma, then Beauty, then Envy. Um, Grandma, Beauty, Envy. And the constraints are correct. And then after that, we have Red Queen and Twaffle and Bourbon. Queen, Twaffle and Bourbon, and the uh, constraints are correct. And we have 8,000 is the lowest anyways. So that's good, and we have the speed constraints correct. After that, for the ILS approach, 2-6 left. Uh, if I look at that one, uh, yep, from Bourbon. Perfect. And it should be Bishop. And then Hogog. Could see that's correct, and then hooks are, and the altitudes are correct, and we're supposed to intercept the glide slope at 3,800 at uh, Relin. Shand is correct, and then Relin, 3,800. That's correct. So we're gonna request that, and then come in for landing. Looks like we are good. Go back now to our current web point. Okay, very good. The approach plate. Now we're going to ask for ILS 26 left. Uh, localized frequency. This ILS uh, aircraft status is normal. We have sufficient fuel. No relevant notums. Uh, weather at the destination. We've got to grab the weather right now before we do the briefing. So let's uh, listen to it right now. One zero. Altimeter three zero two nine. Arriving runways 19 or left, 19 or right, 26 left. Departing runways 19 or left, 19 or right, 26 right. Visual approaches and use DFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact check for information. Los Angeles Center, this was for was there not 494? Say again. Zero four ninety four contact LA Center one three four point six five. One three four point six five was Air Force ninety four. Los Angeles Center, uh, good morning. Uh, was Air Force ninety four flight level uh, two four six descending via the rounders one. Was Air Force ninety four LA Center Vegas altimeter three zero two nine. Two nine or was Air Force ninety four. Okay, just listen again. Visual approaches and use DFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information, Victor. My picture. Las Vegas McCarran International Airport. ATIS information, Victor. 1856 Zulu. Wind 100 F4. Visibility 10. Sky condition, clear. Temperature 16, dew point minus 10, altimeter 3029 er arriving runways 19 or left. That's it, we have Victor and 3029 er Was there 494, attack Las Vegas approach 125.02? 125.02, 125.02, for was there 494? Las Vegas approach, uh, good morning, was there 494, flight level 190, descending via the rounders 1. We have Victor, and I'd like to request ILS 26 left from Bourbon. Weather 494, Las Vegas approach, cleared ILS 26 left approach, Las Vegas altimeter 3029 air. Good for ILS 26 left and uh, altimeter 29 or was 0494, thanks. That's it. If we have been cleared for the approach, folks, that means now uh, I can join the approach after. Uh, uh, that means I will put altitude now to the FAF altitude 3800. For close traffic. Traffic report there you go. Mass, runway 29 are cleared for takeoff. I can go down Left to the FAF, and from the FAF I'll catch the glide slope. So, the touchdown zone elevation 26 left is 2069. So, uh, I need to put here uh, the minimum 2269. 2269. And 
2069 is 3069 is 1000 above and 500 above uh, 262569 transition have altitude nearest altimeter 3031 okay all right so 3029 up and uh pop 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 next phase here you go 3029 er 3029 er and the temperature in the ATIS was 16. The wind was from 100 at 4 knots, 100 at 4. And our minimum is 2269. 2269. And I'll put it here. Um, and we're going to be full config and landing. And that's it. And we just activate a portrait when we need to activate it, not now. It's too early. 157 Echo Fox, drop runway 29 are quick for the option. Runway 29 are clear for the option. 7 Echo Fox, drop. All right, and uh, it looks here that uh, in opera table does not apply to ILS 26 left, size step 26 right. This is for the lights, okay, it's not an issue. Here we go, and now we can put the tower frequency. So tower frequency for 26 left is 119.9. So we put that frequency in, 119.9 on VHF2. 119.9. Okay, that's the tower and ground. Uh, two six left is east of one nine left and right. Ground is two one point nine. Uh, I'm sorry, east uh, is one two one point one. One two one point one. We put that. One point one. We two. Okay, looks like we're good. Seven ten, quick direct moron, descend via the sizzler for your arrival. Looks like there's Las Vegas. Delta seven ten, LS Center. Delta 710, clear direct moron. All right, so to continue, arrival. we're going to keep descending to get catch the glide slope at Roland. We checked that already in the FMS. Members 2269, missed approach procedure. As a climb to 3200, then climbing right turn to 6000. So 6000 feet. Uh, okay. Okay, yep. 3200, that's correct. Then climbing right turn to 6000. To enter, okay, heading 0, 8, 0. Right, that's correct. Intercept radio 286, that's the interception to uh, Boulder. And hold. It looks correct. So it looks like the. Uh, so missed approach altitude is 6,000. So we circle that. And that's what we need to set. And with that, uh, approach briefing complete, but we can also do here the. Fuel is good. Extra time, performance, we're going to activate approach phase, just activate now. Confirm. And uh, we need to slow down the plane because it's so tight, the ILS is tight. Uh, progress, GPS primary. And we have the Boulder Vortex. And the ILS is 111.5, that's correct, 111.5 for the chart, that's good. And the flight plan is good, we checked that already. All right. So if we look here, that is Las Vegas. As you can see here, here's the strip. That's the stratosphere. Everything is good. All right, we got to get ready now. All right, overhead panel. Uh, we blew it out to 10,000 feet, I believe. Oh yeah, we're getting there. So now we extend the landing lights and see bit side on.
Solar Tower, Cherokee November 58, Medical Foster, midfield and wing for 2 9 Here's Vegas. Repair 7 Echo Falcon, 8 2 clear for the option. Wrong way, 2 for the option, 7 When we do the, when we, okay, actually we're parallel to the runway right now, two six left. Negative November seven three nine or Sierra Charlie contact Joshua approach one two six point one. Now approach check list uh, bar ref uh, set uh, three zero two nine er. Cabin secured and the decision altitude, which is actually set as MDA, is uh, 2269 and uh, approach checklist completed. Okay, now I have to slow down. Green dot speed, then we're gonna do flaps. First, not to flaps. Charles Sierra, Papa Delta Sierra, contact point, Magoo approach 124.7. One to four point seven, Charles Eight Point Zero Two. Okay, landing system. I'll be Charles Eight Point Zero Two. Good morning, up at the four thousand five hundred. Charles here, Papa Delta, Rep, Point Magoo, Approach, Camera, AWOL, Altimeter, 3008. 300, Okay, we'll pass Bourbon. Press approach, we're clear for the approach anyways. Make it auto land. Slow down a little. The lower speed. Hello, Mr. Tower. Sure, can November 5874 from midfield, midfield and wait for 29 or any chance for a short approach with a full stop, please? There you go. Alright, 7 Echo Fox, short approach approved, runway 29 and clear to land. No, we do not clear to 7 o'clock, thank you. Alright, Charlie Sierra, Papa Sierra, radio service on. is terminated, Squawk VFR, contact Camarillo Tower. Taxi. Contact in the tower, Squawk VFR, thanks for your news. Was there 494, Dr. Tower, 119.9er? 19er was there 494, we'll see ya. Near down. Nine Okay, that's ready for us on uh, VHF two. So Mike two and VHF two one nine point nine. Come to tower, Chelsea, Papa Delta Sierra, and the ten miles east west of the fly of India. Chelsea, Papa Delta Sierra, Camarillo Tower, report midfield, right downwind, runway eight. Report midfield uh, right uh, and the uh, runway 08, Chasse Papa Delcia. Well, Vega Star, good morning. Was there 494, Alice 26 left? Was there 494, Las Vegas Tower, runway 26 left, clear to land. 26 left, clear to land, was there 494. Right. We'll 
localizer captured, glass slope is captured. Now full flaps. Alright, so landing checklist, we got all the lights on. And yeah, so polars are armed, gear down, got configured. Uh, We got check landing all green. Missed approach altitude is six Hello, pounds. Tower, Cherokee, November 5, 8, 5, the first flight here, runway 29 at Fox Road, request taxi to East Ground, please. F6, uh, F6. Fox Road, taxi to parking via Alpha, monitor ground. Taxi to parking via Alpha, monitor ground, 1 to 1.6, 7, thank you for your help. 2000. All right, Kevin, check, and here we go, and landing all green. Oh, there you go. Thousand and above, stabilized. Two mile final runway two six left. Five hundred uh, clear to land. Four hundred. Land. Five hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. Hundred above. One hundred. Minimum. Minimum. Continue. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Retard, retard, drive. Okay, D cell, reverse green. Was Air 494 cross runway 26 right at Alpha 6, join Bravo to parking monitor ground. Cross uh, 26 right Alpha, join Bravo to parking monitor ground. Uh, was Air 494, you have a good day. As well. Delta 7 then, contact LA Center 126.35. Approaching runway right, clear, 08 left, left, 26 right. Charlie Sierra, Papa Delta Sierra, runway 8, clear to land. Entered runway 08 left, runway 26 eight, right. Okay, we gotta stop here to our things. 
Delta 710 LA Center, Palm Springs, altimeter tree 014. I think we'll clear the runway. Just to double check the tail is clear. Yep. Now we get, in that case, the APU. On. And landing lights off. Strobes off. And wing off. Off. Just leave this once. Here we go. Leave the APU. And flaps up, and the weather radar, and the TCAS. Uh, here you go. And power uh, shear off. And put the transponder on, but not the TCAS. And now the actual landing checklist should be done in, sil in silence. Flaps retracted, spoilers disarmed, APU is started, a radar is off, and TCAS standby after landing checklist completed. And we should be good now, we can continue taxi. We need to set to monitor ground, so we switch frequency now. Well, that's it, we are now on ground. At the B gate. There it is. And think before I continue to want to blind the people at the gate off, so we turn the taxi light off. And we have the APU, we're good. Just continue, wait for this car. available, turn this off, and in that case we can take the, this is off, seatbelt sign is off, shut down the engines, beacon is after the N2 is below I believe 20% uh, or so, Okay, and pumps off, and crew supply off, check out the intel, okay we're good, so now the beacon could be off, okay, off, turn that off too, and wait for the ground power. Back to the park. In that case, APU is off. Okay. Charlie, for the booth. Parking checklist, engines off, seat belts off, external lights set. Fuel pumps are off, and parking brake is set. And transponder, I already set it to standby uh, here, so uh, parking checklist completed. For the booth. Yeah. 
At the gate. SoCal approach to 710, information Juliet, we're at a 15000. Yeah, so SoCal approach, expect the visual approach, and right here, right, ultimate. And that's the end of the flight, and Wazer has arrived in Vegas, Sorry, folks. The visual from last. Oh, that's right, 3 one. And there's the Las Vegas Strip. SoCal approach, stay hard, come and here, Charlie, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you in another video. Take care.